Because Nina Simone is the greatest artist of all time. We are backstage at the atrium on a Sunday morning. We're just rehearsing our Nina Simone tribute, which is going to be a highlight of the festival, and I am excited! On Sundays, traditionally, we have a house band, and our house band happens to be a 47-piece symphony orchestra. So the Nina and Simone tribute show has got five different singers coming to sing with us, and we're doing our own orchestrated versions of Nina Simone's songs. It's a show that's done once. It's completely unique. And everyone has an opinion of what Nina Simone's song they want to do because everyone's got different favourites. So we narrowed it down to the, the crucial ten, working with the singers, make the arrangements, and then we have a rehearsal a few weeks ago, and then put it all together at the last minute here on the stage. So um, Paul Robinson, who I, I called, I'd, I'd be sure to get him because he was Nina's drummer for, for 20 years. The story behind that is when she came over from the States, the house drummer at the time for Ronnie's was meant to, to do the gig, and Oscar Peterson took him on tour. And it was kind of this last minute, oh crap, we need a drummer. And he got a phone call from him saying, will you do this gig? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, crap. And he puts his clothes on. It was very last minute. And he went in and did the gig. And then blinks his eyes and 20 years later, she kept him on. And I can't try and be Nina. I just think you have to do your own interpretation because she's just the best. And a beautiful orchestra sharing their love with Nina. If some of that rubs off and a light bulb goes on, maybe someone that not heard her before or heard of her goes out and buys a Nina record. That would be so cool. The good thing about festivals, generally, it's an opportunity to give people a chance to appreciate art and music that they wouldn't normally appreciate. And we're going to see an orchestra, something people don't do. I think it's something that they'll go away remembering and it's going to be it's very emotional, I think. The Sunday uh, festivals are emotional at the best of times. I hope that the audience feel they come and sing along with the songs, they know them. It's changed into a context that they've never experienced it in before and they've seen professional musicians bring it to life. Because you're mine.